Political turf war after the city controller Brad Lander strips Mayor Adams of his emergency powers to approve contracts related to the migrant crisis. Fox Size Morgan McKay joins us now in studio. And Morgan, the mayor says that it's going to be hard to give migrants the services that they need. He did, Stephen Natasha. And Mayor Eric Adams' administration says that they need this capability to act quickly, especially with more migrants arriving every week. Just last week, more than 3,600 migrants arrived here in the city, a spike that we haven't seen in a while. The comptroller Bad. Brad Lander says this won't stop Adams from doing what needs to be done. It will just make sure taxpayer money is being spent appropriately. There's just too many holes um, in the way that City Hall was using that blanket permission. New York City Comptroller Brad Lander says that his office has stripped Mayor Eric Adams' emergency powers that allows him to make deals with contractors for migrant services without prior approval. Lander pointed to a series of missteps, saying that the mayor's office failed to report subcontractors in certain cases and at times was late in submitting contracts. The $432 million dot go contract with subcontractors that don't have the appropriate licenses for their security firms, in some cases paying hotels way above what we're paying others, but that blanket approval that's been letting them do whatever they want is not in the best interest of New Yorkers. Now, how it worked before this was under the mayor's emergency powers, his administration could make a deal with an outside contractor for things such as laundry services for migrants or to rent a small to medium sized hotel to to house migrants. After that, the contract would get sent to the comptroller's office for final approval. However, now with this clawback, this contract will first have to go to Lander's office for approval before the mayor's office can act. The mayor's administration says this is going to cause significant delays. This is an emergency that requires sometimes emergency spending. We don't know how many migrants uh, Texas is going to send us or whoever else. More than 3,600 migrants arrived in New York City just last week, and Adams officials worry that this spike in arrivals will only continue to grow. Adams took a jab at Lander, saying that he would have hoped Lander's trip to D.C. a few weeks ago to speak with federal leaders about the migrant crisis would have produced more results. He went to D.C. 20 months later, and he came back with tying our hands. Um, I, I, that just sort of defies logic to me. So I'm a little uh, disappointed that when he turned from D.C., he didn't come back with any real answers on this is a national problem. Now, Mayor Adams is also headed to D.C. on Thursday. Adams wouldn't give too many details on his upcoming trip, but did admit he still hasn't spoken with the president since late last year. Steve Natasha.